Hi, everybody. Today, we're picking up the story of Joseph. We'll start where we left off last week. Joseph had lots of ups and downs in his life, but do you think he was still able to keep trust in God? Let's find out. But today, we're going to get some help from some very special guests. She sells seashells by the seashore. Cool. All right, here we go. Let's recap. Joseph was his father Jacob's favorite son, but Joseph's brothers were really jealous of him. They were so jealous that they actually sold him to some traders who were on their way to Egypt. The traders took Joseph all the way to Egypt and they sold Joseph to a man named Potiphar, who was the captain of Pharaoh's guard. Joseph's new job was to serve Potiphar and his wife. It wasn't the best situation, but as we read in the book of Genesis, the Lord was with Joseph. He gave him great success. In fact, Potiphar was so impressed with Joseph that he put him in charge of his house and everything he owned. Joseph, I am impressed with you. I am putting you in charge. God blessed Potiphar because of Joseph. Everything was all well and good for Joseph until Potiphar's wife started bothering him. Hey, Joseph, do something wrong. Hey, Joseph, do something wrong. Joseph knew he shouldn't listen to Potiphar's wife. But get this, she lied and said that he had done something wrong, even though he hadn't. Potiphar believed his wife's lie, and he got very angry with Joseph. Joseph, I am angry. Off to prison with you. Even though Joseph had done nothing wrong, Potiphar threw him in prison. Just like that, Joseph was stuck in jail after all the good work he had done for Potiphar. But God was still with Joseph. Even in that gross, smelly, dingy prison, the man who ran the prison was very impressed with Joseph, and he decided to put Joseph in charge of all the prisoners. Joseph, I'm impressed with you. I'm putting you in charge. Sound familiar? That's because God gave Joseph success in everything that he did. One day, two new prisoners arrived at the jail. It was the Pharaoh's drink taster and baker. They had done something that had made Pharaoh mad. Joseph was in charge of the two men, so he took care of them. One night, both of the men had very strange dreams. They woke up sad because they didn't know what the dreams meant. We both had dreams, but no one can tell us what they mean. So Joseph asked them to tell him their dreams. The drink taster went first. In my dream, I saw a vine in front of me. There were three branches on the vine. As soon as it budded, it flowered, and bunches of ripe grapes grew on it. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand. I took the grapes, I squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup, then I put the cup in his hand. Hmm, three branches? Squeezing grapes into Pharaoh's cup? What did that mean? Well, God gave Joseph the meaning of the dream. Joseph told the drink taster that in three days, Pharaoh would let the drink taster out of the prison and give him his job back. Joseph just asked had one favor to ask of the drink taster. When everything is going well with you, remember me. Speak to Pharaoh about me. Get me out of this prison. Then the baker told Joseph about his dream. There were three baskets of bread on my head. All kinds of baked goods for Pharaoh were in the top basket, but the birds were eating them out of the basket on my head. Unfortunately, the news wasn't good for the baker. Joseph told him that in three days, Pharaoh would have him put to death. Oh no, Pharaoh's birthday was three days later, and he called for both the drink taster and the baker. And just like Joseph had said, he gave the drink taster his job back, and sadly, the baker was put to death. Joseph was really hoping that the drink taster would remember him, that he'd tell Pharaoh, hey, there's a guy in prison who can tell you the meaning of your dreams. But the drink taster forgot all about him. So Joseph remained in prison, where all he could do was wait and trust. If you think about this part of Joseph's life, in some ways, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, there he was stuck in prison for something he didn't even do. Then he finally gets a chance to explain the meaning of these two dreams, and he was right about them. But the drink taster forgot about him, so he had to keep on waiting there in prison. And for how long? Well, you'll have to come back next week to see.
Even though Joseph's life had lots of ups and downs and twists and turns, one thing was always true, that God was with him. That's how he was able to trust God, even when things didn't make sense. Here's something we can remember from Joseph's story. No matter how stuck you feel, you can always remember that God's got it. Let's pray and ask God to help us remember that. God, sometimes we feel a lot like Joseph did. Sometimes things just don't go our way. Sometimes life doesn't seem to make sense and we're not sure what to do about it. In those moments, would you please help us remember that you are with us just like you were with Joseph? Help us to trust you and remember that you're always in control. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.